guys, today I will be sharing with you a story from Aunt Lou's collection. The title of the story is A Nancy and Smoke Quark. Once upon a time, Brother Anansi did marry and his wife had a big fat pig. Every day Anansi looked at the pig, he mowed water for it. He was a dead for eat it, but he knew that his wife was going to give it to him so so so. Well, he think and he think, so till he find out a brain to work on her. One day when his wife come home from the field, she see brother Anansi keep her up in the bed and the grown loud and distressful. The poor woman get frightened. She asks him what's the matter. Here Anansi. Lord, my wife, this is the last of me. I must dead this time. My belly, oh my belly. The wife says she going to go call the doctor. Anansi say, no, my wife, nobody go call no doctor. Me no like get too much trouble. But when the wife hear all him that groan and guan, she set out to go call the doctor. As the woman back could have turned so, Anansi jump out of the bed, dress himself like the doctor, and run through a shortcut to meet the wife. When him see there come, hear Anansi, Good day, Mistress Anansi. Sister Anansi say, Morning, doctor. Me did just come to you, sir. Anansi say, Anything wrong? His wife say, Yes, sir. My husband is very sick with bad pain in his belly. He just a groan and roll and toss pan the bed. Yeah, Anansi. That's very bad. Pretty serious. Mistress Anansi, I know the symptom. Your husband has agrabilitis. And the only cure for that is pork. The poor woman say, Pork, sir? Anansi say, Yes, pork. Mistress Anansi and plenty of it too is the only cure. Have you got a pig? Poor Mistress Anansi say, Yes, doctor. Anansi quick stop her and say, She woman. If you have a big pig, why do you think I ought to save your husband's life with it? Shame on you! Go home at once and kill the pig and give it to him to eat. No, remember, he must eat it alone. Not a crips, not a chanks. Must you take, he must get it all. Is that clear? Mistress Anansi said, Yes, sir. And she turned back home. When she gone, Anansi run back through the shortcut. That time, he da kill himself with love. Ha ha ha! And him get back in at the bed. Keep her up himself and start run. When the wife come in and tell him what the doctor say, Anansi go out. Why? 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 This as well me make up my mind for dead. For me could have never eat of your one pig, my wife. Mistress Anansi had to force him and force him. So till him start crying and say, All right, since you force me, I will have to yam it. But it grieved me heart. Anansi wife killed the pig. And Anansi grown her up. Go out in the fireside. So him rose as so him yam. So him rose as so him yam. So him rose as so him yam. Till him belly so full, him couldn't go no more. But him so craven that him never want him to get the balance. So him hang it over the fire and smoke it. And every day him cut a little piece, cut a little piece and eat it so till the whole light done. From that day until now, people that smoke pork, Jack is an anti-make it. Jack Mandora, me not choose none.